everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I know that it's been a really long time since I made a video, like over a year. Um, and that's because of loads of things really, but I have loads of time now. So I thought that I would start YouTube again. Can you hear the pigs? So a lot has changed since our last video. Um, we now have four guinea pigs. Um, two new additions, we still have Bambi and Dumbo, but we have two more guinea pigs and a lot of our bunnies have changed as well, some have passed away, we've got new ones, we had to be home some. Today's video is going to be a haul, so I did a bit of shopping recently, probably too much shopping, and I thought because I got loads of stuff I might as well show it to you guys and make this a video. Um, and I don't know about you, but I love watching hauls, like they're my favourite thing to watch on YouTube. Without further ado, let's get into it. Um, I think we'll start with like the more boring stuff first, like the essentials. Um, so, oh by the way this is a combined rabbit and guinea pig haul, so it'll be suitable for small fairies. Um, basically most of this stuff will be suitable for small animals. Definitely suitable for guinea pigs and rabbits, but some could be useful for hamsters, gerbils, mice, rats, possibly, but obviously make sure you check the packaging and the labels and everything before you buy it, um, just to check that it's okay. So the first thing I have is this. Um, our guinea pigs love this food. It's the Pets at Home guinea pig nuggets we don't feed muesli here um, just because of selective feeding what I like to feed is a good pellet with loads of fiber and then I like to sort of supplement that with a few treats and some forage so dandelion leaves some different grasses some flowers like rose flowers and um, dandelion flowers that kind of thing and there was one more thing Yes, pea flakes, so I put pea flakes and mix it all around and it creates like a, a forage pellet mix. If you want to see a what I feed my pets video, comment down below and that's something that I'm more than happy to do. So this is the food that we have. Shall I read the ingredients? Are you guys interested in that kind of stuff? Probably not. Let's do a zoom. This piggy reminds me of um, Bambi. I don't know if you can see that. I can't do the YouTube thing with my hand because, you know, the bag is way too big. Oh, and this is a 4kg bag, which lasts around two months, maybe a bit longer, for four guinea pigs. The next thing I bought was shavings. Um, this is more for the rabbits than it is for the pigs because the pigs behind me, so Bambi, Dumbo and Tigger, you'll meet Tigger soon. Um, they are all on fleece, so I don't really use the shavings for this. But for Winnie, who is our newest addition, guinea pig, I'm just watching her, she's just come out of her house and she's eating some hay. Um, she has a fur plast set up for now until she's bonded with the three boys. Um, so I put shavings in that. So this is for that. This is the snowflake wood shavings, natural pet bedding. My guinea pigs and rabbits have always been fine with shavings, but if your pets suffer with respiratory problems, then shavings is not the best bedding to use. Like I said, only one of my guinea pigs has shavings, and my rabbits only have shavings in their litter trays, sometimes at the bottom of their bed. I've never had any problems with shavings. Um, they've all been good with it. Shavings might not work for you. They might prefer wood pellets. It's just, you know, what works for you. But this works for me. So this is what I bought. Now onto the fun stuff. Um, so shall I go to toys or shall I go? Let's go on to food. Because um, this is just some forage that I bought. And it came in this huge bag. Like this. I ordered this from a company called Bunny Bistro. It's suitable for small animals, but again, check, and I can put the link down below, but double check that it, if it's okay for other animals. So yeah, let me just show you what I've got. So, I got 
got a 1kg bag of green oat and this is basically just green oat hay that's like chopped up and I'm gonna mix this in with the rabbit's pellets and the guinea pig's pellets and create like a forage pellet mix and I like to do this just because it gives them more variety in their diet and also forage is really good in loads of different ways like antibacterial um, it's good for the liver it's good for the gut the digestive system the urinary system it's it's really good for them so yes this is green oat that over there I'm running out of space I'm currently sitting on my bedroom floor and so like I have stuff everywhere let's go for the flower mix so I ordered two 100 gram bags of flour mix and I'm quite disappointed with this actually because this one looks good but the second bag is very dusty I don't know if you can see that yeah, and I'm not so happy with that it's, I've got a lot of dust in there rather than actual flowers so usually this place that I get it from is quite good but I guess maybe this was just a bad batch um the other one looks really good but yeah this is the flower mix if I can remember rightly I think it has oh gosh let me think rose flowers or rose petals dandelion blue corn flowers and chamomile and marigold in there so I got two bags of those I got two bags of the leaf mix, which looks like this again, two 100 gram bags, so 200 grams, and it looks like this. Uh, let me think what's in here. I think it's mulberry leaves, dandelion leaves, linden leaves, and raspberry leaves, but I'm not 100% sure, but I'll put the links to where I got the forage from in the description below so that you can have a look for yourself. But yeah. Two bags of those. And then I got two bags of the nibble salad, which looks like this. Um, so the nibble salad contains dandelion root, celery stalks, parsley stalks, and I think maybe chicory root. I'm not too sure and then I think it has some um, like apple sticks or something in there as well I'm not 100% sure but again these will be in the link in, in the description so there's those we've got a pile of forage over there let's put it all back in the bag shall we that would be a better idea next I have this this is basically like a wooden bridge um it's from pets at home they call it woodlands large play sticks and it looks like this and it just comes in this like cardboard thing that keeps it together and then you can either have it like a bridge or you can have it like a a heidi i bought this to go in the rabbit run i'm not sure if i've ever shown that on the channel but i can do um like a tour or my setup um kind of video and um but we have an outdoor rabbit run and um, they need some new toys and some new enrichment for that. So I thought this is like a great idea. I think it's actually like supposed to go that way. Yeah, that looks more like it. So yeah, I bought this little bridge for them. Slash Heidi. Oh, it's a bit creaky. Next, for the piggies, I bought this little um, stack and hide den it's called I don't know why it's called stack it's a bit strange and this little piggy here you've not met her yet but the little piggy on the sign of the label looks like Winnie mm, he's so cute and it says Gloria never gets bored so I'm guessing that's the name of this piggy here um, but it's basically just a grass um, hide slash tunnel so it's got one, two, three, four holes um, for your piggies to get in and out. This just fits my pigs in and they are kind of like a little bit on the bigger side and it just fits them. 
so it should like it should be okay for all um guinea pigs really um but this was from wilco and i believe it was five pounds i will link it in the description if it's on their website i'm not too sure if it is or not i went into the store and bought this so the next thing is this grass this is called a large grass house by woodlands from pets at home this is great for hamsters um, because they can fit in it and hide in it i bought this for my rabbits and i thought because it's grass it's great for them to nibble on and i can also stuff it with hay and forage so it can be um like a, a cool little toy for them but um if you have hamsters mice that kind of thing that kind of animal sorry this would be great for them like as a little house but yeah i got this for the rabbits next okay next i have this huge bag the next thing i bought was these chinese friends from um russell rabbit crunches so my rabbits and guinea pigs love these they are little carrot shapes oh upside down carrot shapes and yeah like i said my pets love these i think they're carrot flavored as well so yeah they really love them and as you can tell I've already opened them um, and given them to the pigs because they really like them. Let's see if they'll come up now for one. Weep, weep. Let's see if we can, you guys might be able to see them come up. Weep, weep. Come here. Can you see pigs? Oh no, I'm in the way. Let me move out of the way so you can see him. see my leg <laughs> there we go there we go it's gonna run off with it there you go bye so the next thing i bought are these funky little bowls oh they're gonna need a wash because they have dust on them um so i bought these for the rabbits they need some new bowls to have their breakfast in because their old ones um are really old so I bought they're actually cat bowls and they are basically just these little these cute little bowls um, and I got four pink because we have four girls not that you know colors don't have an agenda um, so you can like for example Bambi has a pink Heidi house I'm not about that I don't gender stereotype but I just thought girls for boys go um pink for girls and blue for boys and then it'll just it'll just be easier to you know see who's who's basically two blue for the boys and then four pink for the girls so yeah i thought that was an absolute bargain from pets at home and usually pets at home bowls are quite expensive but these were good these were cheap the next thing okay the next thing i bought are some um toys so i bought three packs of these what are they called fun ball trios so these are great for guinea pigs and rabbits so i got three packs and you get three in each so that's nine all together yeah and my rabbits and guinea pigs absolutely love these they love to chew on them and, and move them around and chuck them and play with them um, so they're great and they're made from natural materials as well so they're great for your rabbits to chew on um let's read the back our assortment of fun play and chew balls are, are a great boredom breaker they offer a variety of textures to chew on and as they get bored easily it's a great way to keep them entertained entertained they are 100 percent glue and staple free which i love great to nibble on and safe for your furry friends please remember to supervise your pets at all time when playing and make sure they get fresh water too so yeah i picked up three packs of these little balls and they're three pound fifty a pack from wilco's so that's like just over a pound for each one which is i think a bargain so that's those the next thing i bought was yeah let's go for these were these little um play patch nor and play little toy so they look like carrots and they say that they're refillable and they say patch refill so i'm guessing 
that once they've sort of chewed the green bit out of the top that you can fill it with hay or something um but it says chewable texture is perfect for play encourages natural behavior helps to satisfy a natural desire to chew use with our huh no it says simply replant the carrot once worn what do you mean replant them they're not real carrots they don't grow made from sisal and corn leaf okay i don't understand how that works but i'm really intrigued anyway they're a great they're a great toy um I just don't get what they mean by you can regrow them. It's really interesting. I'm going to find out what that means. They were £3 a pack. So, and you get three in it. So, again, like a pound per one, which is great. Uh, the next thing I bought from Wilco. Oh, by the way, those, um, these carrot treats are from Pets at Home. And the balls are from Wilco. The next thing I bought from Wilco is this Snap and Share fruit bar, which looks like this. So I thought this would be a great treat to feed them. The thing I like about this is that it doesn't have seeds or any kind of um, cereal in it. Whereas a lot of treat bars that you find from pet shops have all sorts of things in them that rabbits and guinea pigs can't eat or digest. But what I loved about this is that everything in it is safe. So it has Vegetable starch, carrots, parsley, rapeseed oil, green oat, so like the forage from earlier, dandelion, peppermint, ribwort, um, plus banana, apple or strawberries. Um, so I think it depends like which one you have and I think this looks like it's got strawberries. So I thought that that's a great little treat. The thing I like about this is that it doesn't have seeds or any kind of um, cereal in it. Whereas a lot of treat bars that you find from pet shops have all sorts of things in them that rabbits and guinea pigs can't eat or digest. But what I loved about this is that everything in it is safe. So it has vegetable starch, carrots, parsley, rapeseed oil, green oat, so like the forage from earlier, dandelion, peppermint, ribwort, um, plus banana apple or strawberries um so i think it depends like which one you have and i think this looks like it's got strawberries so i thought that that's a great little treat the thing i like about this is that it doesn't have seeds or any kind of um cereal in it whereas a lot of treat bars that you find from pet shops have all sorts of things in them that rabbits and guinea pigs can't eat or digest but what i loved about this is that everything in it is safe so it has vegetable starch, carrots, parsley, rapeseed oil, green oat, so like the forage from earlier, dandelion, peppermint, ribwort, um, plus banana, apple or strawberries. Um, so I think it depends like which one you have and I think this looks like it's got strawberries. So I thought that that's a great little treat. I wouldn't give them sort of a whole one of these um all at once because they will have like a mad sugar rush i'm going to break it apart so that there's three blocks and give it to each pig i'll supervise them with it for like half an hour um to make sure that they're not having too much and then i'll take it away and then give it them like another day so yeah i thought this was a great little treat there's that next thing i bought were these chew tubes so I bought the um, grass tunnel for um, Bambi and Tigger. So I thought, not Bambi and Tigger, Jumbo and Tigger. Um, so I thought I need to get the um, other two pigs, Bambi and Winnie, um, a different toy. So I got them these um, chew tubes. You can get them in three different sizes. You can get this size, which is hamster size. Um, it's got like a little hamster on the front. Then you can get a medium size um, for guinea pigs and then you can get a large size for rabbits. They didn't have two of the medium size for guinea pigs. So I just got these um, hamster sized ones and I'm gonna fill them with hay and forage and stuff. Um, instead of them using it as a tunnel, they can use it as like a little, a little toy. So yeah, 
two of those. These were from Pets at Home and they were a pound each. A great little toy. And then the last, oh there's two last things and they're not very interesting. They're just some staple bits that I needed to pick up. So this one is a tea tree cream. So Bambi at the minute has like a, a problem with his skin. It's, it's nothing like too serious but it gets quite red from when, from when he scratches himself. He doesn't have fleas or mites or anything like that. I think he has quite sensitive skin. So it gets quite red and he's got like a little patch. It's much better now that I've been using this. But he did have like a little patch on the back of his neck. Um, and it was a bit red and a bit sore. So I bought this Johnson's Tea Tree Cream. Um, and it's safe for rabbits and guinea pigs. And it says it's also ha um, suitable for hamsters as well. It's just a tea tree cream. A lot of people use Sudocrem for this kind of thing and yeah this is pretty much the same thing. It smells like Sudocrem but um, this is designed specifically for pets. So I picked that up and like I said since I've been using it on him he, I don't know if you can see him there, there's Bambi. Ever since I've been using this on him I've been using it for a couple of days now Um, it's been working really well. So that's what we got. And then the last thing that I picked up was this Johnson's Small Animal Shampoo. Now I just want to clear up that I never bath my rabbits because it causes severe, severe stress. And rabbits, they clean themselves, they're very clean, so they rarely, rarely need a bath. My pigs, on the other hand, can get quite dirty and quite stinky. So I like to give them a bath once a month, maybe more than once a month, but um, I don't like to do it like once a week or anything like that because that's it's too much stress for them so once a month they have a bath with this um, shampoo so I just need to needed to pick some more up of this because we were running out and I find that this works well it does the trick it's mild and non irritant so it's good for Bambi skin like I said there are a couple of bits that are downstairs in the shed um, with the rabbits just because they're quite bulky like the hay um, but I will take you down in a bit and I will show you the hay that I bought and I will also show you the guinea, not the guinea pig, the rabbit pellets that I bought. I forgot that I had actually ordered um, some treats and some forage from the Little Nibbles company on um, Instagram. Um, I've been ordering from Amy for a while and I love her products but I forgot that I had ordered this and it arrived today so I thought that I would add it into this um, haul. So the first thing I ordered was this, by the way, I'm so sorry if you can hear dogs drilling. I'm in my back garden in the rabbit shed, so you can probably hear everything. And that's next door's kids screaming. I'm sorry about that. We're just gonna have to ignore it. But um, yeah, so the first thing I ordered was this meadow grass with herbs. I'm going to add this into their pellet for some extra forage. So there's that. The next things I ordered, oh let's go to these loofers. So these are um, rabbit safe loofers but the ring, the edge sorry, is covered in um, forage. So I believe this is the chill pill um, loofers um, and the forage is basically designed to calm your rabbit. And also a tasty treat. So I got the chill pill ones. And then I also got these parsley and mint loofers, um, just as like a little treat for them. These are a few staples that I like to always get in. I got two of these barley rings, um, we'll talk about that in a minute. And then I got two pea flakes as well. So this little thing is a lavender bag and I'm going to hang it up in the shed because in the summer and the spring when the flies start come out apparently like flies don't like lavender so it's supposed to repel them so I'm going to hang this up and I've heard really good reviews lots of people saying that it actually works oh my gosh don't look at my nails they're gross um yeah a lot of people actually said that it works so yeah I'm going to try it the last thing I believe that I ordered yes was these willow sticks. Now my rabbits absolutely love willow sticks. They love chewing on them. They love chucking them, playing with them. And it's good little enrichment. So this is just like a little bundle of willow sticks. 
and I'm sure all of this will go down very well with the bun buns and I'm just about to pop the pea flakes and the barley rings into those two jars I will show you next the pellets that I bought and the hay that I bought um, because I haven't shown that yet this is our meadow hay again if you want me to do a what I feed my um, rabbits and guinea pigs um, video then I will do that but this is our meadow hay that we buy from our local farm and they get a range of meadow hay, timothy and orchard so they get a varied hay diet so these are the pellets that um, we ordered and so far it's a big thumbs up they absolutely love them and it's the science selective adult rabbit food um, they love it and then this is my Ikea feed bin the guinea pigs have um, one as well but that's upstairs in my bedroom where the, where the piggies live and it's just this flip lid um, I think pretty much every pet owner has these because they're just they're just so cheap and they're so good we are almost out of our old food um, and we are currently transitioning the buns onto the new food so as soon as this is finished and they are completely weaned onto that food then I'll empty that into here and then I'll probably order another bag as well just to fill it up and then my bag of forage is down here and my bag of um, toys and stuff and then the forage I will also empty in here and create a mix for them Hi Gasp! Gasp was looking at me like Mom what are you doing? This is the Timothy hay that um, I've ordered and sorry I've got the flash on because it's like five o'clock I'm filming this and the lighting is pretty rubbish so this is the Timothy hay um, it's lovely and green I don't think the camera does it justice but our buns absolutely love this and it's actually the first time that I'm ordering from Healthy Herbie um, I've never ordered from them I usually use hay box but hay box don't do any orchard hay um, they only do meadow and timothy and um, I wanted to add another type of hay into the diet um, and healthy herbie do a half and half and I thought that it would come in like a big box a big 5 k kg box um, of like it all mixed together but it actually came as two two and a half kg boxes um, so this one's the timothy and then let me just show you the orchard grass which is that one there. this one here is the orchard and it's basically um, similar to timothy but it's thinner strands and it's more stalky, I think, in my opinion. Um, but the buns love this as well. So this was a great purchase. Um, of course, it's quite pricey for, for hay. It was about um, £17 for the two boxes and then like £4 postage or something like that. Um, so obviously it's quite pricey, but honestly, it's so good for your rabbits and your guinea pigs, so it's so worth it. So yeah, this is the hay. And it comes with this little card which is so sweet thank you for your order um every hay purchase you make from a website helps support a rescue center so they help rescue centers and donate to them as well which is amazing and then here's their instagram and their email and the website if you want to order so yeah very happy with that that is pretty much all that I bought. I hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe because I'm going to be making loads of loads of new and exciting videos. Comment down below what you want me to do, what videos you want me to make. Like I said, I'm already going to make a um, what I feed my pets video. I'm going to do like some sort of tour, um, like maybe a cage tour, an enclosure tour, a rabbit run tour, literally anything you can think of let me know because i have loads of time and i want to get back into making videos so let me know and thank you so much for watching bye